Buckle up because NBA free agency is about to get wild. That is why you subscribe. Don't miss anything. We're going to be making a video whenever the Celtics go out and make a move, and I can promise you Brad Stevens and the Seas are going to be very busy this offseason. Hit that big red sub button. Don't miss out on any videos. Welcome into Celtics Today. I am Will Scott. Just completed my first week as the host here on Celtics Today. Very excited to be covering the Boston Celtics because it is going to be a wild offseason. And my goodness, how wild would it be if Kevin Durant was traded to Boston? We're going to talk about that possibility on today's show because the KD trade rumors are heating up after this report from Shams yesterday. Sources, Kevin Durant is monitoring the Brooklyn Nets situation and considering options with his future. This now opens the path for Kyrie Irving to proceed on finding a new home via opt-in and trade. So this coming shortly after Woj tweeted a Kyrie Irving trade destinations list. Kyrie has given the Nets a list of teams he is interested in being traded to. And a lot of people around the league believe if Irving leaves Brooklyn, so will Kevin Durant. The C's might be at the top of Durant's list if that happens. Now, do you want KD in Boston? Type Y for yes or type N for no down in the comments section. I want to hear from you. I want to know if you want KD, one of the best players in basketball in Beantown, go down and let me know. And KD yesterday tweeted this out. It's a wings league. He's right. The C's have pretty good wings in Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. And one of the J's, Jalen Brown, like the tweets. It is going to get interesting, folks. And I got to give a shout out to Dan Greenberg from Barstool, a Celtics reporter for Barstool, because yesterday he sent out probably about 45 tweets about KD to Boston. And this was one of the tweets. So I know Tatum and KD are pretty close, and uh, that's going to be uh, maybe a deciding factor for KD if he does request a trade. This is what Brian Scalabrini, Celtics legend, said, the white mamba. He loves Marcus Smart. He loves M.A. Udoka, and he respects Jason Tatum. There's a lot of things going on here. It's not just, ah, the Celtics are good. There's a real connection here. Here is what Kevin Durant did last season. This was his best season in terms of points per game in the last eight years. Yes, he is 33 years old, but he's not slowing down. Nearly 30 points per game, 7.5 rebounds per game, 6.5 assists per game, shot over 50% from the floor. He is still Kevin Durant, even at age 33. Make no mistake, he's not slowing down like James Harden is right now. So KD has been in trade rumors with the Brooklyn Nets organization in disarray. And when the Nets made that trade with the Celtics, I guess it was about a decade ago at this point, uh, for Terry, Garnett, that whole thing, and uh, I, I did not think that they would have a worse trade after that. But it does appear that the James Arden trade might have been worse because the Rockets own the Nets' first-round picks for the next five years. That is wild. So the Nets organization right now is just a dumpster fire. It looks like Kyrie's on the way out. That might lead the way for KD being on the way out as well. And then Ben Simmons hasn't even played for that organization. So if the Celtics traded for KD without giving up any of their young stars, this is what the tr this is what their starting lineup would look like. Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Kevin Durant, Robert Williams III. That is a championship team right there. But... That is unrealistic because if you make the trade for KD, keep in mind you'd be trading for a top three player in the league. You would have to give up Tatum or Brown. There's just no way that you can trade for Kevin Durant and not give up one of your two young stars. Trust me, I wish, and I and trust me, <laughs> I know how good Brad Stevens is at his job. He might be able to work something out where he doesn't have to trade one of the Jays but I think you got to trade either Tatum or Brown to get KD. Now, if you had to trade one of those guys, who are you giving up? 
Jason Tatum or Jalen Brown? Type T for Tatum or type B for Brown down in the comments section. If I told you right now, a KD trade is possible, but you have to give up one of these two guys, who would you rather give up? Let me know down in the comments section. You can't trade Tatum. You just can't. This is your franchise player. This is a this is a superstar in the league. This is a guy that can be a top five player in the league. This guy can be somewhat of a Kevin Durant caliber player at some point in his career. He has that kind of upside. He has that potential. You cannot trade Jason Tatum, period. However, I would probably trade Jalen Brown if it meant getting Kevin Durant. And yes, I know how good of a player Brown is. I know how important he is to this team. But if you trade for Kevin Durant, that likely means a championship. For that reason, I'd be willing to give up Brown. I would not be willing to give up Tatum. If the Nets were, if the Nets are on the phone with Brad Stevens and they're saying, sorry, man, we need Tatum to make this trade possible, you hang up the phone. You don't trade Jason Tatum, I would consider trading Brown. And NBA free agency is going to get nuts, right? And not just with the Celtics, with other teams in the league, too. It's going to be wild. You don't want to miss anything. We're going to be live on Chat Sports June 30th when NBA free agency begins. So that's the sub link right there, youtube.com slash chat sports TV. That is the link to our main channel. I will be heavily involved with this coverage, so you don't want to miss it. Subscribe. That link is going to be in the comments and the description of this video. You don't want to miss out. So I put this together. This is probably what a KD trade would look like. I'm going to say the Celtics get Kevin Durant and Seth Curry. Seth Curry is a very good point guard, would fill a void if you have to give up Marcus Smart in this deal. Nets receive Brown, Smart, 2023-2024 first-round picks, and then two 2023 Second round picks. The C's right now own three second round picks next year. So even with giving up three draft picks next season, you would still own at least one draft pick. Now, would you do this trade? Type D for deal or type ND for no deal down in the comments section. It's a lot to give up. But what you would be getting is Kevin freaking Durant. Here is what the starting five would look like after that potential trade. Seth Curry could be your starting point guard. I like that. I really like Seth. Yeah, he's not his brother, but he's a pretty dang good basketball player. Jason Tatum would play the two. KD at the three, maybe Horford and Williams down low. I think a starting lineup like that would certainly win a championship. And if you get KD, you win the NBA Finals, period. KD leads to a championship. That being said, you can win a championship with this group. They were that close, right? They had a 2-1 lead in the NBA Finals just, just recently, right, against the Golden State Warriors. They were so close. I think they're a piece or two away to being the favorites to win the NBA Finals next season. This group can do it, but KD would certainly help those chances. Thanks for watching Celtics today. Go down in the comments section. Let me know if you want to trade for Kevin Durant. Subscribe. Turn, those, turn on those notifications. If anything wild happens, we're going to make a video.